In this video, we will try to assemble an Earthwise electric chipper shredder model GS70015. We will begin the assembly with the left leg. This is done with hex key socket heads or Allen drive hardware. The size of the hex key needed is 5 mm. These fasteners were started by hand, then tightened with a 5 mm hex socket. There are no torque specs provided, but I use the torque wrench for consistency. Here's a side note with my opinions about torquing down these fasteners on hollow tubes. It is worth noting that even when referring to a minimum torque spec, it was too tight and started to collapse the hollow tube. This is likely because the torque specs for fasteners are done with consideration that the fastener will be torqued down on a solid and not a hollow surface. As seen, the machine has been flipped over. With the axle in the axle tube, it was inserted into the hole on the left leg. The right leg was then set in place. The hole in the right leg allowed the axle through. With the axle through, the right leg was on top of the axle tube. This is the process to attach the right leg to the chipper shredder body. The machine has been turned to set the axle horizontally. Two washers are placed over the axle. A spacer is set inside the center of the wheel. The wheel with the spacer inside is set over the axle. A washer and fastener is set over the axle on the outside of the wheel. The fastener is then started to be tightened by hand. Here is another view of the same process on the second wheel. This time we will place the spacer directly over the axle. The wheel will then be set over the spacer and the axle. Again, a washer and a fastener is set over the axle on the outside of the wheel. Two combo socket hex wrench tools were included with the machine. We will use both of the tools to tighten down the fasteners at the end of the axle. Here are additional views of this process. As long as there is another tool on the opposite end, 13mm sockets could also be used. There are two plastic wheel covers included with the machine. They can be easily pushed into place. I am choosing to keep them off so I can see the fasteners and have quick access to them for maintenance. As seen, the collection box was then pushed onto the machine below the shredder body. This is a good check to see that everything is aligned properly. The hopper is then set on top of the upper feeding chute on the tripper shredder body. Two buckles on the hopper fasten to the retainer on the chute and hold it into place. The tabs in the hopper ring will allow it to be set on top of the hopper. A plastic paddle or push stick is included with the chipper. As seen, the chute has two locations to insert a tree branch of up to 1.75 inches or 44.45 millimeters. The area that connects them into a single hole allows shredding of items such as leaves. This machine has an I.O. switch. The I switch is a green button to turn the machine on. The O switch is a red button to turn the machine off. The third button to the left of the I.O. switch is a reset button. This button is used to reset the circuit breaker in the machine. This is a view of the end of the electrical power cord for this machine. Next we will loosen the locking knob to allow the cover to be open. With the cover open there will be access to the blades for maintenance or removal of any debris that could accumulate or get stuck in this area. The cover is then set back into position and the locking knob tightened down. We'll do one last check with the collection box and we'll be ready to test the machine. Our test of this chipper will be done in a separate video. Thank you for watching.